Okay. What did I get in my hands? Okay, hello everybody. Don't ask why I'm dressed like it's snowing in my house. I'm dressed like this because I'm freezing. Um, I'm always cold though. I am always cold. So I am gonna cook chicken milanese. Um, and I'm starting to get everything prepared. For those of you who do not know what chicken milanese is, chicken milanese is an Italian dish, shocker, um, where the chicken is pounded out thin and it is dredged in flour, dredged in egg, dredged in breadcrumbs, and then fried. And I am going to use my cast iron skillet um, because I'm obsessed with it, even though I only used it once. Um, I hope the hood doesn't bother you. I'm legit freezing. Um, okay, so let's talk about ingredients. And I'm also making a different Sullivan salad tonight. Let me um, show you the salad. This is a Sullivan spinach salad. And all it is is spinach tomatoes diced that are diced can you see how small the pieces are hold on i'm so not good at these cooking videos but i love you guys for showing up um spinach i use fresh baby spinach because that's the only one my kids will eat diced tomatoes and really thinly sliced onions which they'll whine about and want to pick out but i don't care okay so that is the salad, and then I'm gonna use the only dressing really that my kids will eat outside of ranch, and that's the Zoe's dressing. Sometimes I just squeeze lemon on it, um, cause I'm gonna use lemon for the Milanese. I'm gonna squeeze it on top. So when you get a lemon, you wanna get one that's soft to the touch, and yes, Christine Purcell, I will post a recipe. Um, even though I don't really measure that good, I just cook it from like knowing in my head. But anyway, um, you want to roll the lemon between your hand. Do not say Lionel is watching. Don't give me a heart attack. Lionel is not watching. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is get some olive oil. Okay. Um, actually, I think I'm going to cook the Milanese in safflower seed oil. I like safflower seed oil. So I'm gonna use this one, okay? So we're gonna pour some of this in the pot and swirl it around. I'm gonna show you in a second. If Lionel was watching, I would die and you guys would be watching a video of me die, okay? Um, we're making chicken milanese in our crock pot. I, oh, well, before I turn the flame on, um, I should pound my chicken. I waited to do it so that I could do it with you guys. Hold on one second. So you got to really like your wife. You got to pound your chicken. All right. Because Milanese, the chicken is thin. Let me turn you so you can see what I'm doing. Whoa. Listen, can, we, can you guys stop writing Lionel? It's extremely distracting for me and I get nervous and I get vagina butterflies. All right. So, ow. Get some wax paper. I mean, is this not the most professional cooking video you've ever seen in your life? Literally. I'm so professional, you've never seen anything like it. Um... Oh, well, nobody told me that. It's better to let the pan get hot before adding the oil. Well, I did not know that, so. All right. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I pound my breasts. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna lay them out. Okay, I got four breasts. Six if you count the two on my chest. Um, and then I'm going to take my wax paper and lay them on top of the chicken. I'm going to take the flat side of my mallet and pound it. You really want the chicken to be thin. Don't be afraid to hit it. Okay? 
I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like before you pound it, okay? It's thick, right? And then after you pound it, you want it to, to be about that thin. See the difference? I'm bundled up uh, brandy because it's freezing in Alabama. Don't let that below the Mason Dixon line fool you. All right? All right, so the chicken, we're pounding it out. Meanwhile, Brandy's on here and she's gonna kill me because I'm supposed to be on a diet and I'm eating chicken mil milanese. Yes, the chicken is skinless and boneless. Um, so I'm just gonna finish pounding out the chicken. Don't be afraid to whack it. Take a whack a weezer. All right? Because the chicken, you're only going to cook it about, you know, six minutes on each side. So, you, or not even, four, maybe four or five. So you don't want it to be too thick or you won't be able to do it the way you want it. All right. Now, again, we're making chicken milanese and I just pounded the bejesus out of my chicken. Hold on. Now, I'm going to um, wash my hands. So I can pick up the phone and show you the ingredients that I've already prepared. Chicken Milanese is all about the preparation, okay? So let me show you. Um, all right. There's my chicken all pounded out. And here are my ingredients. I've got the flour and I put um, garlic powder and a little paprika in my flour. That's the first step. The next is eggs. I beat three eggs, just regular old eggs. And the last one is panko breadcrumbs. Now, a lot of people put Parmesan cheese in their panko breadcrumbs, but I cannot because the cheese hurts my stomach. Yes, my love. I'm making chicken milanese. Oh, Charlie. What are you making for the kid? Like for me, Max and Olivia. That's what I'm making for you. You have to pound the chicken because when you fry it in the pan, it it milanese is a thin. It's I, it's the style. I don't know. I wish I had like a more authentic Italian answer for you, but I don't. All right, so have a pan ready. So after you do your chicken, I want to be able to show you guys this. But I don't know if I could do it. I'm gonna try to do it like this. So first, ooh, hello, Jamie. First, you're gonna dredge it in the flour. Okay, shake off the excess, put it in the egg, and then put it in the, hold on, Charlie. Yeah, you can have dinner when I'm done cooking it. I know, life is so unfair. I know, and this is what it'll look like. Watch out, this oil's gonna pop. And then you put it into the pan. Anybody else have kids that whine while you're cooking? Um, and then you're gonna repeat the process. Flour, remember, flour. You need to learn, because one day you're gonna have a husband and kids and you're gonna wanna cook. Or you'll just be president of the United States and maybe you won't like what the chef is making you. Flour, egg, panko breadcrumbs. And you're just gonna keep repeating that until all of your ace, no sir. Can I have Can you back up? You're, you're killing my vibe. Don't you know that song? All right, so here, once again, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? Mmm, and then you're gonna lay it into the pan Can and let it cook. Hold on, let me turn it around. What it looks like in the pan. Charles, I'm serious. You can have something to eat when dinner's ready. That's when you can have something to eat. So while this is frying, I'm gonna finish the other two. Why do they always, as soon as they smell you start cooking, they want something to eat. Parenting tip, 
right as you're starting to cook, tell your kids you want to play hide and seek. And when they hide, cook. Okay, whoever's saying I wish they could see, I know. I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. It's 640 here. And my, ow, my kids don't like to eat early. Sometimes they do, but not typically. Especially not when they're on break. Tonight's the last night of break. Because with school, we have such a regimented schedule and cheerleading and basketball and ballet and blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm doing the flour. I'm really trying to show you guys. I know I'm terrible at this. There's the flour. Here comes the egg. Okay, you really don't be afraid to get it in there. Get off fork. Um, and then make sure all the flour's covered in egg. And then you're gonna come over to the breadcrumbs right here. I can already smell that chicken. It smells delicious. Guys, am I not doing it right? I'm sorry. If I'm not doing it right, I apologize on the video. I'm learning. I don't know how to do cooking videos. I just thought it could be cool that you guys could see it. Um, anyway, last night I made we made roast with potatoes and carrots, and the kids hated it. So... Um, that was because Michael cooked. Max is in the basement building, um, working on his race car with his dad. So I'm going to put this one on a tray for now. Um, hold on. You know what it is? My phone is hooked up to this thing. Hold on. Um, I'm going to lay the land here. Okay. I put this one on this tray until it's ready. Um, I've got my flour, um, my egg and my breadcrumbs. And my milanese is in the pan. I'm gonna turn the flame down a little bit because I can hear it popping. Um, and I've got my last chicken here. So again, in the flour, right? Make sure it's good and coated. Don't be afraid to coat it because the flour is what, um, it's, a, it's an important part. I'm very technical and all I can tell you is it's very important. I don't know why. My grandma Connie never told me. But my grandma Connie was the best cook ever. And if you didn't tell her her food was delicious, she was offended. Okay. Then we're going to go back into the egg, right? And we're really going to make sure that the whole thing is coated in egg. I know, right? I'm like a southern belle with this cast iron skillet. I don't know about a southern belle with this accent, though. Wait till you guys see the... Uh, Lionel Richie video I post later, you're gonna crack up. Even though, oh my God, you said Jane Malone, you just made my heart skip a beat. All right, so um, really cover it. Hold on, my hand hurts, let me, okay, yeah. Um, don't be afraid to cover it with lots of breadcrumbs, it's the best part. And we're gonna get this all covered up. Okay, I'm gonna just really make sure it's covered here. And then I'm gonna place this one on my pan here. And I'm gonna check my, oh, you know what? I got a, I got a freeloader. I got a freeloader, I found a guy here. And I'm not gonna waste him because somebody will eat him. Sometimes you get little pieces that fall off the, the breast there. You know, and if you're not careful with the breast, you'll lose a piece. Um, get it really good in the egg. Don't be afraid to really get in there. And then you want to get it in the breadcrumbs. Cover it up. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. You guys are so good to watch me because I'm learning. But I swear, don't you feel like if we stick together in like a month, I'm going to make like the be best cooking videos ever? And we're going to have such a good time. But I feel like I don't really know how to cook very much other than Italian food. So you guys might be stuck. I know how to make some Jewish food, but I don't feel like a lot of my followers want to eat Jewish food. All right. So, ah, all right. So I put it on the pan. Now what I'm going to do is get a clean fork because that one has egg all over it. And I'm going to check my chicken. 
Oh, yum, yum, and yum. Just a little sizzle on the side, on the back, okay? Now keep in mind, safflower oil is a very healthy oil. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna add a little more oil. Um, I love how you guys are like, you need more oil. Milanese is supposed to have a little burn to it, so don't get scared. Um, it would help if I actually put the, the, here it comes, so here it comes. You hear that sizzle? Mm. Um, so anyway, my thing will be, I'm just trying to swirl it around a little bit. Ow, this pan is hot as balls. All right, so I guess my thing will be Italian cooking in the skillet, okay? That'll be my thing. So while that's cooking, we're gonna empty the, um, oh, and I wanna tell you guys, those of you who have dogs, I wanna tell you something. Hold on, let me. When you crack your eggs, um, when you crack your eggs, and you get your um, egg yolk, you know, your eggs, and you have the shells, Crush the eggshells and put them into your dog's food. The eggshells is excellent for the dogs. Okay, so Ace got three eggshells tonight and he was very happy. All right, I'm gonna also empty out my flour because I don't need it anymore. Um, and I try, as I said, I try to clean as I go for the most part because I don't like to have too much to clean after dinner because to be totally honest with you, I'm tired after dinner. Are these clean or dirty? Dirty. Yeah, Michael, you gotta tell me. I said shit, I'm sorry. So my flour was, oh my God, you don't even know how good that smells. Uh, my flour was seasoned with, I seasoned it with garlic powder and paprika. Um, all right, so I suppose, I suppose that if I was a really good wife, I would empty the dishwasher, but I'm not. Um, yes, eggshells for dogs. When you, what is that hand in the background? Oh, this my mother-in-law got me. Anything that looks fancy or weird in my house, it's from my mother-in-law. This is a hand, and you drape the dish towel over the hand. It's a dish towel holder. Okay, anyway, eggs are really good for dogs, right? I give Ace a raw egg once a week. The shell, the membrane inside the shell is actually really healthy. So I'm making chicken milanese. Um, oh, this looks divine, people. Look at how beautiful this milanese looks. Hold on. Let me get a grasp on this puppy. Oh my word. And it smells like heaven. So anyway, the membrane inside the eggshells is really good for dogs. So after you crack your egg to beat your eggs, you wanna crunch up the shells and put them in your dog's food. I only have one dog, so he gets everything. And the chicken is just about done inside. I'm gonna give it one more minute. I'm cutting into it, which is typically a no-no, but I'm new, I'm new at the crock pot, so I'm nervous about, you know, how long to do. Oh, this isn't a crock pot. I'm new at the cast iron skillet, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm checking on the chicken. But for the most part, it looks like it's done. Um, all right, so I'm going to add more. It's not burnt, Andrew. You're burnt. Smells delicious. Um, all right, so I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to take this one out, and I'm going to show you one more time how we do the... Oh my goodness, this looks so good. 
I cannot even tell you. I cannot even tell you. So let me tell you about cast iron skillets, though, that are different than other skillets. They really, really hold their heat. So you have to keep the flame low. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about it. Keep your flame low or else it'll smoke too much. And um, listen, you know what? What am I having with it? I love that you asked me that. So I'm having spinach salad, which I'm gonna show you again. Um, this is gonna be done in one, three, two. I don't want it overdone, but I just wanna make sure it's not pink inside. And perfect. Do you see that? Oh, sweet baby milanese. That is delicious. Kind of sear that, put it on my plate, remove it. Listen, it's my first time using the skillet, but it ain't my first time making it. This ain't my first time at the Milanese Rodeo, all right? All right. So this is coming out. And now, I'll tell you, I'll be 100% honest with you. Um, the, the pan. The heat from the, I'm gonna wipe it out uh, and burn the shit out of my hand, which I do not recommend that you guys do, but I'm doing it. Cause you're gonna get all that burnt millet, uh, breadcrumb out. And I would be doing this in any pan, not just a, cro uh, a skillet. Can somebody help me please stop calling it a crock pot? Jeez. All right, so you're gonna get your oil in there and you're gonna start all over, okay? Take your pieces that you have breaded, lay them in the pan, and we're gonna watch the clock-ish. But really, you wanna just watch your chicken, you know? This one could have been pounded a lot thinner, Jamie. Jamie, it's not pounded thin enough. Oh, two pieces hiding underneath each other. That's why. Um, so you want to give it a little room to breathe and spread it out. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. I keep saying crock pot, but it's a cast iron skillet because I'm so used to saying um, crock pot. So I'm working on it. Right. Here it is, back in the pan. Now I'm going to show you a small piece of this Milanese. There goes my diet, but I don't care. Don't tell Brandy, even though she's watching. Oh, sorry, way too close. See, it's like white with just a slight, ever so slight pink tinge. Okay? And... Oh, my Ranta! Guys. Guys, this is so good. Charlie, come taste this! Charlie! Oh my God, so good. Come here, baby love, and taste how good this is. What is it? It's the chicken. Mm, I know. Mm. <laughs> I love you. Um, okay, hold on. What we're having with it. Spinach salad with diced tomatoes and thinly sliced red onion. Okay, and I'm gonna put it actually on top of the Milanese. So the chicken is cooking. It's got plenty of oil, don't worry. It's got plenty of oil, which is why it's not good for my diet. Why am I dieting? Because I'm shooting uh, in LA next week. I am shooting um, a, an investigative documentary called Aging, called Aging Out. It's about children who age out of the foster care system in this country. And it is so important that we talk about 30,000 kids in this country every year age out of our foster care system with zero resources. Essentially, as mothers, we would never send our 18-year-olds out into the world with zero resources, and that's what's happening. 
to these kids. So I'm going to see if I can do my part and help some of them. Um, I am going to cut this lemon. Oh man, roll it on your counter. Do you guys know how to do that? Do Hold on. Sorry. Okay. If you guys don't stop saying Lionel, you're trying to freak me out. Hold on. Roll it on your counter like this. It, you get it really soft and get all the juices going. Okay? All right. Andrew, get a fucking life, Block. Oh, now you made me say the F word. See, I went backward for you, Andrew. Damn it. Sorry, ladies. All right, so I'm going to slice this um, lemon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it uh, in half and then in half again like this. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. I'm coming to you. And you can't see what I'm doing, but you'll see it. All right. See how it's like almost in an orange slice like this? I'm going to squeeze this on the Milanese. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good. I just love it. Now I'm going to flip my pieces here, even though I think they probably have some more time but um, I'm flipping these these beauties what do like real cooks say what kind of like things do they say I don't know I don't want to be a real cook whatever okay so I know I, I said a bad word I'm sorry okay um, so I will have all the details on the documentary once we're done shooting I don't have everything right now but I will once we're done I'm hosting it which makes me kind of nervous because I'm not really like a host you know I feel like Lisa Ling and people like that are really um you know good at stuff like that oh I'm sorry Megan Brandon Blackman oh I'm sorry um so right now this is the boring part unfortunately because we're just waiting for the chicken to finish cooking um, and it is 900 people will cook Milanese now I hope so so here's what it looks like let me show you and it's just doing its thing here's the Milanese that I already cooked I put some lemon on it it's gonna be delicious and how about I just show you so you don't have to stick with me through the whole thing how about I just show you what it will look like when it's plated Okay, so when it's plated, Charlie, are you starving? What, baby? You're a little bit starving? A little bit? Okay. She's so cute. Um, so I'm going to take a piece of this chicken for Charlie, right? Um, now, keep in mind... Charlie is little, so it's not going to be a big, um, it's not going to be like a big portion, but you'll get it. So for Michael's, I'm not going to cut his up, but for Charlie's, I'm going to cut it up. And I'm going to give her about, I'm going to let her start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And I know you're probably thinking that's nothing. Um, this is what these will look like. And then I'm going to take um, my, well, I can't use my tongs because I use them for, um, why don't I have two sets of tongs? That's annoying. Hold on. All right, hold on. So, Charlie, will you eat my salad? Yeah, you can come look at it. You want to taste it? It doesn't have dressing on it yet. You want me to put some dressing? Are you okay? Is your <laughs> I dropped them into the stove. <laughs> Whoops. All right, Charlie. Wait, I careful. Did. There's a knife on here. I, I know, but I'll mix it. Do you want? I'll put some dressing on it, okay? Before you say you don't like it, just taste it. There's tomate. Get a tomate. tomate. Si, mucho. Don't give me any onions. Cebolla. you ate the onions, you would love it. I told you she was going to say something about the onions. All right. 
So I'm gonna toss the salad. That makes me I, giggle every time I say it because I'm immature. Can I try to toss the salad? <laughs> can I try to toss the salad? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good job. That's how you learn, right? Yay. You gotta learn. Okay, so I'm gonna put some on your plate so I can show everybody what it looks like when it's plated up, okay, baby? Get him with your tomate. Sure. Okay. All right. I mean. You'll be fine. I'll take out the big piece. Okay. All right. Well, you okay? Well. Be careful, there's a knife up here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what Charlie's plate looks like. And then Charlie probably is gonna wanna eat. All right. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. So when I plate up Michael's, I'm gonna put a whole chicken milanese on the plate and then put a blob of salad on top. Um, I know, I'm sorry, Rick. I'm not really not good at this, but, and then I'm gonna give Charlie's a quick squeeze of the lemon all over her salad. Um, and the chicken. Um, okay, so, whoa, seriously, I suck at this. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a fairly simple dinner. Yeah, my kids, my kids speak Spanish. So I'm Italian, but I also speak Spanish. Porque yo soy muy inteligente. And my children also speak Spanish. Um, because they are also very intelligent. Um, well, really it's because, no, it's not fried chicken, baby, it's chicken milanese. The dressing is just the Greek dressing from Zoe's. Um, my kids love it. Um, some people put the chicken on top of the salad. I don't because the chicken is hot and the salad wilts. I put a pile of salad on top of the chicken. So um, I wanted to just say to you guys, really quickly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at this beautiful chicken milanese. Beautiful. Um, it's very hot. Um, let me ask you honestly, would you watch more cooking videos? For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, would you watch more? For those of you who saw the other one, would you watch more? Um, hi, David. Oh, what is that, bomb, bomb, bomb? That's my brother. Um, okay, so um, I'm very proud of this chicken milanese, actually. I'm gonna cut this and make sure this piece is done. I don't think it is. But anyway, um, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna post this recipe for you, even though I don't, I mean, it's a lot of it is just going to be the taste. Oh my God, this looks so good. Stop it. Stop it now. All right, so um, I'm going to post a recipe for you, and then I'm going to come up with a few other um, recipes that my family loves. Yes, David, like me used to make, but not nearly as good. I'm going to come up with a few recipes um, for some other things that my family um, likes to eat. So I thought maybe that I could do some main dishes and then also some side dishes for you guys because I make really good side dishes and I feel like that's a lot of times you don't know what to make. So you make pasta, you make rice, but I do a lot of things with farro, a lot of things with barley and my kids love it and I think maybe if you tried it, you would watch it. Uh, I mean, you would if you, if you watched it, you would try it and then you would like it. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I'll do some desserts. Maybe you guys will like that. Um, hey, lover. I'm doing a video on chicken milanese. You want to taste this chicken? It is the bomb. Taste this. Let's see what Olivia thinks. Charlie loved it. Here. Chicken the bomb? No. No, it's not called chicken the bomb. It's called chicken milanese. Chicken milanese? Chicken milanese, child. Chicken mil mayonnaise? Open your mouth. Don't make a face. Does it taste Stop. good? Does it taste good? What do you think? Do you like it? 
All right, thumbs up from Olivia. Thumbs up, and you don't realize she doesn't really give a lot of thumbs up. All right, so. Later. Later. Um, all right, so my chicken is basically done. And I'm very grateful that you guys stuck with me this whole time because you didn't have to. And I'm grateful um, for you. I'm just grateful for you. And I feel like 2017 is going to be such an amazing year for all of us. Um, I hope to meet a lot more of you. And, oh, you want me to make cannolis, Jonathan? Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are people really going to try and make cannolis at home? Because I feel like no. Let's be honest. I don't want to make videos of things people are not going to make videos of. You know what I mean? I mean, not... What is wrong with me? I don't want to make videos of things people won't really try at home is what I'm trying to say. All right, this chicken is done. It is delicious. This is off. I'm going to... Do my lemon now. I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And wait, if you guys will wait, I would like to show you really quick what one adult portion looks like. Okay? I forgot that my dishwasher needs to be empty. Okay, so this is what my plate will look like. Okay? So I'm putting the Milanese on the plate like that. And I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon onto it. Um, I make a really good mushroom barley soup that you guys might really love. Um, and then I'm gonna put a big scoop of salad right on top. Michael, lovey. Don't ignore me, I know you hear me. Okay. So here is what mine will look like. See that? Looks delicious and smells so good. Okay, wait guys, I want you to understand something. I would like to say that I am very blessed. When I cook dinner, Michael takes my children in the basement to play. I am well aware how lucky I am. It is not always. There are plenty of times they're under my feet and they're all over me, but for the most part, he is very good at taking my kids to play. Thank you so much. I will post the recipe for you guys soon. I hope that you try it at your house. And I do have Jada's cookbook behind me, yes. Um, and I'm gonna try to, ow, still hot. I'm gonna try to make more things in my cast iron skillet so we can figure out how to make more Italian dishes in the cast iron skillet. I just came up with a new recipe that I'm playing with now. And if my kids like it, then I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Um, I'm not gonna make anything my kids don't like because my kids eat everything. And if my kids won't eat it, your kids probably won't eat it. Um, all right, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, enjoy your dinner, enjoy your night, and I'll see you in the morning for Coffee Talk. Bye.